All right, so as you should be aware, Creative 2.0 is right around the corner. In fact, they teased it and they kind of promoted it as happening in January, but then it got pushed back just a little bit. Now, from what we understood, it should come out this month in March. And today we got an actual confirmation. So the official Fortnite creative Twitter account tweeted this picture out right here. So basically they're hovering over a launch session box and everyone's freaking out because everyone's waited so long for this. It's going to be an absolute game changer, but we'll talk about that more in just a second. So you can see the beautiful image down below that they're projecting. It looks phenomenal. But this was just a bit of a teaser they put out this morning, and then they followed it up with this tweet right here. And it says, the beginning of the future is built together. 3, 22, 23. And then they say, wish list on Epic Games Store now. And they put a link. Now they also put a little video teaser, but it doesn't really show much. It says, Unreal Editor for Fortnite, it's happening with the Unreal Engine logo. So that's what it's called, by the way, the UEFN or Unreal Editor for Fortnite, AKA Creative 2.0. Now I'll be completely honest. I know diddly squat about creating maps, editing maps, or anything that has to do with creative mode. But from the hype that all the people that do know how to do that stuff are projecting, this is gonna be absolutely game changing. All these big content creators and map creators are saying that this is gonna be the best thing that ever happens to Fortnite. So what exactly will you be able to do in this UEFN? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna click the link to the Epic Games Store that Fortnite provided themselves in the tweet. And this is what you're gonna see. It says Unreal Editor for Fortnite, just like we established the UEFN. And it does say coming soon, we knew that, but we also knew that you could add it to your wish list down there. And it says available 3-22-23. So that is this upcoming Wednesday, 3-22-23. So it says Unreal Editor for Fortnite is a new PC application for designing, developing, and publishing games and experiences directly into Fortnite. Then it says with many of Unreal Engine 5's powerful tools and workflows at your fingertips, including custom asset import, modeling, materials and VFX, sequencer and control rig, you'll have a whole new world of options for producing and publishing games and experiences for Fortnite that can be enjoyed by millions of players. UEFN works side by side with Fortnite's existing creative toolset, and teams of creators can work together across PC and console to develop and test islands in real time. Also included is the new programming language Verse. It offers powerful customization capabilities such as manipulating or chaining together devices and the ability to easily create new game logic. So then it says, what can you do with UEFN? UEFN builds on the concepts used in the Fortnite creative toolset with the addition of new features and capabilities. The beta provides creators with an early version of UEFN that will evolve in line with their feedback. With this beta version of UEFN, you'll be able to... By the way, I didn't know this was a beta. I thought this was the real thing. Anyway, it says we'll be able to do the following. Create custom content with modeling and material tools. Import meshes, textures, animations, and audio. Use Niagara to create VFX effects. I have no idea what that is. Animate with control rig and sequencer. Design gameplay with verse. Build landscapes to create and flesh out the environment. Create larger experiences with world partition. Use fab to discover and import assets. Use live edit to collaborate in real time with others. Integrated revision control to collaborate with Unreal Revision Control. Again, I don't know what half that stuff even means. Then it says, how is UEFN different from Fortnite Creative? UEFN is a PC only editor that enables 3D viewport work styles with the creation tools, parentheses devices, found in Fortnite Creative. This means unlike in Fortnite Creative where you build and edit your islands by controlling a character inside Fortnite, creators instead have access to a range of tools and workflows from the PC-based Unreal Editor, with many similarities to those used by Epic Games to develop Fortnite Battle Royale. Ooh. And lastly, it says, how is UEFN different from Unreal Engine 5? UEFN is designed to create experiences for Fortnite. This means every experience you create is published to the Fortnite platform, reaching a built-in audience of millions. To do this, UEFN combines the creation tools from Fortnite Creative with the Unreal Editor, enabling Unreal Engine creators to develop content for Fortnite using a familiar interface. 
This beta provides creators with an early version of UEFN. Unreal Engine creators will find many familiar tools and workflows as well as some key differences and limitations not present in Unreal Engine. For example, unlike Unreal Engine, UEFN uses the creation tools from Fortnite Creative known as devices as the primary building blocks for authoring game mechanics. And these devices can be used in tandem with a new programming language called Verse. UEFN will continue to evolve through the beta to add more functionality creators are familiar with from the Unreal Editor give creators control over even more aspects of their Fortnite experiences and expand the capabilities of the Verse API and framework. What in the hey bada bada does all that mean? Well, hopefully exciting new game modes with pretty graphics, I think, if I'm summarizing all that, hopefully. But I've seen how awesome the animations of Unreal Engine 5 are. We've actually seen some clips from that. So imagine if anyone can make those amazing graphics with sweet animations and stuff like that. I think someone compared this to Roblox. You know how you can make games in Roblox? It's gonna be like that, but in Fortnite, so anyone can develop their own games and everyone can enjoy them and play them. But I don't know if you make any money from it. I think you could still put your support a creator code and that's how you would earn money. Or can you sell your games? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. It just sounds exciting. So that's all the information we have. The big thing here is that it comes out March 22nd, AKA this upcoming Wednesday. So let me know if you're excited or if I explain this wrong. Like I said, I know nothing about this, but the excitement of people that do gets me excited as well. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is taper time.